Hey guys, uh, today um, math is going to be in the actual in the classroom. Um, so um, it's kind of empty and lonely without y'all in here. It's just me and the board, um, but we're going to do a lesson together. Uh, this week we're talking about how to interpret a line plot. And that uh, word interpret means how to understand or figure out something. So um, we're going to be looking at some line plots. We learned about line plots in fourth grade. Let's just kind of remember what a line plot is. A line plot is a way of displaying data on a number line. Uh, when we see these line plots, we're going to see some X's on them. Uh, those X's represent every time that the data value shows up. We'll talk more about what that means here in just a minute. Today we're going to look at several different line plots and uh, inter interpret what they mean. When you're looking at a line plot, always understand the information that it's giving you, what data or um, things it's showing you. Uh, we already talked about how a line plot uses a number line. These X's represent something. We have to figure out what the X's represent. These numbers along the bottom represent something. We want to make sure we understand what those represent as well. Um, we are told here that these numbers represent numbers spun. So let's go up here and read the problem. It says some students spun a wheel that had numbers from 0 to 5 on it. So we know that these are the numbers that are on the wheel. And so the, rep uh, the X's represent the students. So every time you see an X on this line plot, it represents a student. So we see the numbers 0 through 5. We could ask all different kinds of questions uh, regarding this data. So let's see what the question is. And remember, when we read our questions, we want to make sure we read them carefully. It says, which number was spun the fewest times? So on this particular line plot, we're looking at the ones that are the fewest. So we can see that there are six students who spun a zero. We can see that there are seven students that spun a one, three students that spun a two, um, and we have eight or nine students that spun a three. We have one student that spun a four and two students that spun a five. The question again was which number was spun the fewest times? And so we see that the number four was spun the fewest number of times. Let's look at another line plot. Again, we want to read the information. This says scores in a card game. Uh, it says Duncan figured out the scores at the end of a card game. So here are the scores. Now notice this time the line plot does not start with a zero. It starts with a four. Um, so this many people um, scored four. This many people scored five. This many people scored six. You can look at the data there. Uh, always read that question. Make sure you understand what it's asking. Which score did the greatest number of people receive? Well, that's pretty easy. All we got to do is look at the uh, number that has the most X's above it. And so if you look at it, you can see that the score that had the most or the greatest number of people was uh, the ones that had a score of nine. So here, let's look at another one. Again, always look at your data, um, see what kind of data is displayed. This one's titled uh, playing soccer last week. The numbers again are zero, this time through four. It says a soccer coach asked the team how many times they played soccer last week. The numbers on the line, uh, line plot say times played, that's how many times they played. And again, those X's would represent the uh, members of the team, the individual players. So we can say, um, Remember, he's asking the team, how many times have you played? It looks like three of those students didn't practice at all or didn't play at all. We had one student who played once. We had two students that played twice. We had several students or, um, that played three times, and you can see a whole bunch of those students played four times. So again, the question could be anything. There's all different kinds of questions you can um, ask you with this data. This particular question says, how many people played soccer exactly four times last week. So that uh, word exactly is very important in the sentence. Uh, so we go up there and we look at four. These are the number of students who played four and all we have to do is simply count those X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the answer to this question would be ten. For our next line plot it says some children compared how many thank you notes they wrote last month. Writing thank you notes. Here's the number of thank you notes they wrote. Again, those X's represent the students. Uh, we have one student who wrote one thank you note. Uh, you can continue looking at the data there. The important part here, after you've looked at that data, reading that question, make sure you understand what it's asking. It says, how many children wrote at least 
three thank you notes. So let's think about what that means when it says at least. Would we want to include the ones that only wrote one? Well, no, because that wouldn't be at least three. Likewise, we would not want to include the ones that only wrote two thank you notes because that's not at least three. We would want to look at the ones who wrote three, but we would also want to include the ones that wrote four because that's at least three. We would also want to include the ones that wrote five and six thank you notes because that is at least three. So for this problem, we would count everything that uh, would be a, an X above the three, the four, the five, and the six. And for our last problem, um, I want you to answer this. If you um, get the answer for this, you can leave it in the comments section. But it says a survey asks people how many times they visited the mall last month. So here's their number of trips to the mall, and these again represent the people. This many people went zero times. This many people went one time to the mall. This many people went twice. One person went three times. This many people went four, and this many people went five. Again, that question, we gotta interpret that data and think about what that question is asking. It says, how many people went to the mall more than two times? More than two times. So again, if you wanna answer this and put your answers in the comment, I'd love to see your comments. And as always, I miss you and I hope you're staying well. See you next time.